Have you ever quietly wondered what really happens to your prostate if you masturbate every day? I understand it's not exactly a dinner table topic and not even something most men feel comfortable bringing up with their doctor. It's one of those subjects that often carries a sense of embarrassment, even shame, and because of that, it gets ignored. But in my nearly three decades of working with men in their 50s, 60s, and beyond, I can tell you, this prostate health shouldn't be a mystery, and it should never be taboo. It's a real part of being a man, and you deserve to have honest, science-backed information that empowers you to take charge of your health. Today I'm going to talk to you not as a doctor behind a desk, but as someone who understands the private worries many men carry. One of the most common questions I hear is, Doctor, should I be worried if I masturbate every day? And I get why that question lingers. There's so much information floating around, forums, articles, videos, and not all of it is accurate. Some men have even heard things like frequent masturbation causes weakness, infertility, or even prostate cancer. That creates fear, guilt, and confusion. So let's get to the truth. The answer isn't a simple yes or no, but thankfully we now have solid science that helps us understand what's really going on. One standout study published in European Urology followed thousands of men for nearly two decades. What did they find? Men who ejaculated around 21 times per month, whether through sex or masturbation, had a significantly lower risk of developing prostate cancer than those who only ejaculated four to seven times a month. Why the most accepted theory is called the prostate cleansing hypothesis. Think of it like this, regular ejaculation helps clear out old cells and inflammatory substances that may otherwise accumulate in the prostate. It's like flushing out a pipe regularly to prevent buildup. This in turn could reduce the risk of inflammation and abnormal cell changes. But, and I really want you to hear this, frequent ejaculation is not some magic cure. It's one piece of a much larger health puzzle. You can't eat poorly, avoid exercise, skip your checkups, and think masturbation alone will protect you. It's a helpful habit, but it needs to be part of a comprehensive, healthy lifestyle. Let's take a moment to appreciate what the prostate actually is. It's a small gland about the size of a walnut that sits just below the bladder and surrounds the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of your body. Its main job is to produce fluid that nourishes and transports sperm. That makes it a vital part of the male reproductive system. During your younger years, the prostate mostly goes unnoticed. But here's the important part. As we age, especially after 40, the prostate naturally begins to grow. It's a common part of aging in most men. And as it enlarges, it can press against the urethra, leading to frustrating symptoms, weak flow, frequent nighttime urination, that nagging feeling that your bladder's never truly empty. If any of that sounds familiar, you're not alone. The truth is, these small symptoms are often the first sign that something is changing inside you. And if we don't pay attention, those changes can build up into bigger issues down the road. Your body is evolving, and your prostate is part of that evolution. I remember speaking with a man named Richard, 63 years old, a retired accountant living in Florida. He told me, that over the past year, he started feeling like he couldn't fully empty his bladder. He was waking up three, sometimes four times a night, just to use the bathroom. At first, he brushed it off as just part of getting older, but the reality was more specific. After an exam and a few tests, we found that his prostate had begun to enlarge. You see, as men age, the prostate naturally grows. It's a condition known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. It's not cancerous, but it causes a lot of discomfort. When the prostate enlarges, it puts pressure on the urethra, that small tube, that carries urine out of the bladder. This is exactly what leads to those symptoms Richard was facing. But the story doesn't end there. When the prostate grows, 
it also struggles to release the fluids it produces. This buildup can cause feelings of heaviness, discomfort, and sometimes lead to low-grade chronic inflammation. If you've experienced that persistent pressure or ache down there, you know how much it can affect your mood, your confidence, even your day-to-day -day joy. On top of all that, there's the hormonal shift that comes with aging. Testosterone, your body's primary male hormone, naturally starts to decline. That's expected. But here's the twist part of that. Testosterone gets converted into a more powerful hormone called DHT, dihydrotestosterone. And DHT has been shown to stimulate prostate cells to multiply more aggressively. It's like pouring fuel on a fire. That's one of the key reasons so many men develop prostate issues, even if they've never had a family history of it. And this combination aging fluid retention hormonal imbalance leads to something else even more serious, a heightened risk for abnormal cell growth. Your body replaces old cells every single day. And after decades of those cell divisions, the chances of small errors occurring errors that could eventually turn into cancer start to rise. This is biology. This is reality, and this is exactly why ignoring the signs is never the right approach. So yes, regular ejaculation might play a role in flushing out harmful substances, but again, it's just one piece of a much larger lifestyle equation. Health isn't about one single action. It's about a constellation of habits and choices you make over time. I also want to share something that sparked quite a bit of attention in the medical community lately, an idea coming out of Japan that's causing both excitement and debate. Some researchers there have introduced a new concept, latent prostate blockages. They believe that over the years, the accumulation of dead cells and toxins can form dense, sticky clumps inside the prostate, impeding blood flow and worsening urinary symptoms. These scientists suggest that this buildup is the real reason millions of men suffer in silence. What's even more fascinating is that they're exploring a gentle solution involving natural mineral spring water with detoxifying properties. According to their research, this treatment could potentially dissolve those internal blockages in just a few days, leading to better flow reduced pressure and even shrinking of the prostate. Now, I'm a physician. I'm not in the business of miracle cures. I approach every claim with healthy skepticism. But I also believe in staying open to well-designed, evidence-backed innovations, especially when they come from respected research centers. Because when you understand your body, you gain power over your health. You shift from being reactive to being proactive. And that's what I want most for you not just to avoid illness, but to live fully, to sleep through the night without interruption, to wake up feeling steady, strong, and in control of your body, to keep your intimacy, your independence, and your inner peace. That's why I always guide my patients toward a broader vision, one where prostate health isn't treated like a ticking time bomb or a shameful secret, but a normal part of long-term self-care. You are not powerless. You are not past your prime. You are simply entering a new chapter and the choices you make now can shape the rest of the story. One of the first things my medical mentor ever told me was this, health is made up of small choices repeated every day. And when it comes to your prostate, that couldn't be more true. You don't need to overhaul your life overnight and you don't need expensive treatments to protect yourself. What you do need is a plan, a practical one, that fits into your life and honors your goals as a man who wants to feel good and stay strong. So if you're wondering where to begin, here's what I tell every man who walks into my office. There are four core pillars to protecting your prostate, and you can start applying them today. First, yearly screenings. I know how uncomfortable this topic can feel. Many men hesitate to schedule checkups, especially when it involves tests like the PSA blood test or a digital rectal exam. 
but please don't let embarrassment cost you the opportunity for prevention. A simple test measuring your PSA level combined with a quick 15-second physical exam can be the difference between early treatment and advanced illness. And here's the truth. Prostate cancer when caught early is highly treatable. You deserve that chance. Second, anti-inflammatory nutrition. Your body needs the right fuel to stay balanced and resilient. That means cutting back on red meats, fried foods, processed snacks, and excess sugars. Instead, fill your plate with vibrant vegetables, fresh fruits, whole grains, healthy fats like olive oil, avocados, and nuts. And if you're looking for a secret weapon for your prostate, look no further than the humble tomato. Tomatoes are packed with lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that's been linked to lower prostate cancer risk in study after study. And here's a tip your body absorbs lycopene more effectively when the tomato is cooked. So yes, tomato sauce soups and even ketchup can support your prostate health in surprisingly effective ways. Third, daily movement. You don't have to become a marathon runner to feel the benefits. Just 30 minutes of moderate activity, like brisk walking on most days of the week, can improve blood circulation, regulate hormones, and boost your overall energy. For prostate health specifically, there's one exercise I recommend above all Kegel exercises. These movements strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, the muscles that support your bladder and prostate, and they improve urinary control. The best part, you can do them anytime, anywhere. At your desk in the car or while brushing your teeth, nobody even has to know. And finally, hydration. It may sound simple, but it's essential. Drinking two to three liters of water a day helps dilute your urine, flush out toxins, and keep your entire urinary system functioning properly. It's a small act with big results. I'm sharing all of this with you because I truly believe in the power of small steps. You don't need to change everything all at once. Just pick one place to begin a new habit, a better choice, a slightly healthier meal. Your prostate will thank you and you will feel that difference in ways that go far beyond just biology. We're talking about peace of mind, dignity, confidence and presence in your relationships, in your rest and in how you carry yourself each day. Prostate health isn't something that only sick men need to think about. It's for every man who wants to age well, to stay sharp and strong, and to live on his own terms. If today's message helped you in any way, I'm grateful. And if you know someone, a friend, a brother, a father, who might benefit from this information, please share it with them. It might just change their life. And if you'd like to continue this journey of learning, of growing, and of taking ownership of your health, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. I'll be right here sharing what I know, keeping the conversation honest and human just like it should be. Thank you for listening. Thank you for not turning away from a conversation that matters. And thank you for choosing action.